afternoon, a surprise today. Earlier this week, we told you how a bill to expand the state's child abuse law, known as Baby Brianna's Law, was tabled by Democrats in a Senate committee. But after a heated exchange between lawmakers on that committee, it was suddenly revived and moments ago passed by that very same group. News 13's Madeline Schmidt is live at the Roundhouse in Santa Fe with more. Madeline? Yeah, well, Kip, Representative Antonio Maestas told us on Tuesday that he voted no because the state can't afford it. But the sponsor of the bill, Representative Sarah Maestas Barnes, says that that was just a political smokescreen. Now, after our story aired, this happened. It was unfortunate on and Representative Barnes. Oh, there she is. Thank you. It was unfortunate, uh, Madam Chair, that yesterday a, a, or a couple days ago, a bill didn't get out and a member of this committee, you know, snibbled to Channel 13 and they that was during the House Appropriations and Finance Committee yesterday, which is the committee where Maestas and his fellow Democrats voted to table Maestas Barnes's bill for life in prison for people who murder children over 12 years old. The current law only mandates life in prison for victims under 12. The Republicans on the committee, Maestas Barnes included, walked out after Maestas's comments. They did eventually return. Madam Chair, yes. I'd like to make a statement because I was verbally attacked by one of our members and I think it's incredibly inappropriate to bring political agendas to this committee. Now, so since that intense exchange yesterday, Maestas Barnes's bill was revived by the committee in a very unusual move. And we just found out moments ago that the bill was voted on for a second time and it passed. Now, the House Republican spokesperson tells us that this time around, only one person voted no, and that was Representative Christine Trujillo. This means that this bill is now headed to the House floor for a full vote. Kim, back to you. Okay, thanks, Madeline. Now, at the beginning of today's committee meeting, Representative Maestas did apologize for his comments yesterday.